Hello, you might not be able to tell today because all you can see is a car park and a fence and a big building. We're in Knott's Berry Farm today. I have no idea what to expect here, but apparently it's got some really good theming and some good rides, so looking forward to it. So far, on the way in we've driven underneath a wooden, a wooden coaster and you can kind of see in little gaps in the fence, but you kind of park away from the park, which is a bit weird. It's another hot day. We're gonna burn. That's got you. Oh god, she go. So we just queued what felt like about 40 50 minutes for I can't remember what it's Silver Bullet. It's an alright BM invert, it's not the worst I've been on, it's not the best, it's just okay. Quite forceful though. Um, the queue is just way too long, they're running two trains but it feels like they should be running three. And the operations are really slow as well. But, uh, fun ride, hoping my, mem my memory card is going to last. I've just had to delete some files off it because I'm running out of memory, so hopefully. <laughs> The, heat, the theming here is really nice. The atmosphere here is great, really nice as well. I'm trying to find my way to the... Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, Montezuma's Revenge, I think. It's like a Schwarzkopf lightning loops thing, I think. No. It's a Schwarzkopf like, pulley uh, weight launch thing. I think it's similar to what um, Horton Towers had. Yeah, that. <laughs> I think Alton Towers had one at one point. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's probably quite intense. I think we're in like the Camp Snoopy section, but it's really nice. The theming, it feels like Disney in a way. The level of detail and the... Uh, the atmosphere. It does feel a lot like Disney. She's a compliment. Montezuma's Revenge.
You just notice this little train ride thing where you have to, like a minecart, where you have to pump it to make it go. That's awesome. <laughs> Well that failed. We got to the front of the line and it broke. <laughs> Classic Schwarzkopf for you. It broke. We, we did hold out for a little bit but we've, we've given up. We're uh, going to go ride somewhere else. First time I've seen like a an SNS drop tower. I've only ever seen the ones that do both. Shot and drop. All the ones that only do shot, but this one does both. Pretty cool. So this isn't the first uh, rocket uh, launch coaster that Intamin have built, but it's the first rocket coaster, which is their like more modern launch coaster. And it's different, and I think it's the only one that's got lap bars apart from. Actually, no, that's not right. It's one of the rare ones that has lap bars. Though most of them have over-the-shoulder restraints, but this one has uh, lap bars. I think King Dakar also has lap bars as well. The one that started it all. So it's Hang Time, the newest, newest ghost flower. So I've just been on hang time. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's quite a fun go slower. It wasn't rough or anything. It only has lap bars, so uh, it makes it a lot comfier. 
Uh, yeah, I <laughs> don't really have much to say about it. It was fun, it had a little bit of airtime. The f the first drop, like the when it hangs you over the edge at the top, it, it's uh, it's quite nerve wracking. On video, it looks it doesn't look like much, but it, when you're up there, it, it's actually quite um, yeah, it's quite intense being sat up there. So it's good. But we're going to look for some food now. Um, I've heard the chicken here is good, but that's all the way. At, at the front of the park, so I don't know how easy it is to get. How we to go on this layer? It's the Calico Mineco. I think that's uh, what inspired Big Thunder Mountain. I'm not, I might be wrong on that, but it seems like it. We first, when we first came in, the queue for that B and M there was really bad, but queues don't seem to be too bad now. We've actually got in and going around the park. This is awesome, this is pretty cool. There's a stream down the side. I've heard a lot about this ride being really good. I don't actually know what it is, but... <laughs> What happened to all the other people? <laughs> That was totally wicked! <laughs> uh, let's go this way. We're sort of on the uh, Calico mine train thing, or Bob. That was really weird. <laughs> it's like a train, like a normal kind of miniature train that's on like tracks, but you uh, go down and you go up a lift hill, and you go down the hill at, at some point. It's really weird. Like, you're on rails, but it's not just a slow train. It, like, it has a little bit where it speeds up, it has a bit where it goes up a lift hill. It's really bizarre but it's cool though it's uh yeah awesome <laughs> so here there's something called
called the Voyage to the Iron Reef or something. I have no idea what it is. I think it's some kind of like trackless ride or some kind of dark ride or some kind of shoot. I don't really know. I've not actually watched a video of what this is. So yeah. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> So we just went on Voyage to the Iron Reef and uh, feels like it feels like a generic package ride that they bought or something. It doesn't feel like it fits in or anything. It feels like they just a company designed it fully and then they just bought it rather than making it themselves or anything. I didn't really like it. The 3D hurt my eyes really badly and the way the, the scenes worked it kind of seemed like they wanted it to be like the, Spi the Spider-Man ride at Islands of Adventure, but it's nowhere near, it's just like... It's a very cheap uh, knockoff version of that, basically. But it hurt my eyes. <laughs> didn't like it. And maybe we could go on the train. 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 Interesting. So this is like a full-sized real <laughs> train carriages thing, kind of. This is weird. Um, cool. <laughs> One thing I like about this ride is it's got like a, a big water cannon just spraying water just casually casually near the roller coaster. I think this must be the only BM that's got like a weird random cannon of water being sprayed just near the track. I don't think it gets you when you're on the ride, but it seems like a really random thing. And that uh, Montezuma's Revenge is now open, so we're gonna go try get on that, that's the orange shuttle, shuttle loop coaster over there. Had a really nice day so far, we just went on the uh, the Calico train thing, it's just like a, a steam train kind of thing, it's quite cool. In the middle of it there's like some robbers come on, <laughs> some like themed robber people come on, it's pretty funny. I won't say anything else so I don't spoil it but it's pretty fun. Yeah, so we're gonna try on that shuttle loop thing now. <laughs> Jess is too much of a baby to go on this because, uh, she hates getting wet and she's got nice shoes on today, so... <laughs> it's apparently got a 20 minute queue, so... This 
latest for you, Scott. It's Mr. Scott Bickerton. Should I be concerned about this? <laughs> I'm gonna get drenched. Twisting and turning. Seeming on, seeming on this is awesome. <laughs> We're going too fast to see it. Oh God. Ah. <laughs> It's my paw! Hanging man, hanging man. <laughs> it's too. We're going too fast. I am spooked. It's a party! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. Not too much of a drenching this time. I'm uh, slightly moist. <laughs> We've been transported to the old west. And I don't know where we're going. Over there. I actually have no idea what kind of woody this is. I've not done any research on it. So, sorry about that. It could be by anybody. I don't know if it's good, I don't know if it's bad. I've not heard anything either way.
have some, have some of my funnel cake. Or even, yeah, I don't even know what it is. So we just finished our day at Knox Berry Farm. Uh, I don't know what I think about it really. It was okay. <laughs> I don't know. It, um, it was good, but it wasn't anything spectacular for me really. What about you? It was nice to look at and that's all. Yeah. Um, yeah, the theming was nice in the... Uh, the theming was nice around the park where it had it, but the rides themselves weren't that amazing, so... Yeah. Anywho. Back to the studio. <laughs> Bye-bye.